Howdy y'all, it's Wayne with Gideon Outdoors and we came across a problem here in the garden. This is one of our uh, green bell pepper plants and I saw this the other day and I came out and I actually thought that this was a uh, hornworm because every single leaf had been eaten off uh, from here and it did it on about six, seven plants. Uh, so, anyways, instead of you know, and it was starting to past couple of days starting to, to grow back out, but uh, it's already in June, and we needed to get some production out of these. Uh, big box store nursery had some that were already on sale. Went ahead and got those and got them planted. But I think what was in here was a rabbit. Now, normally we don't have rabbits in here. We've got outside cats, we got dogs, uh, we got wire that's that's around the garden. Um, but I think I forgot to put the board back up over on the fence over there. I think that they may have gotten in uh, through there. But the only thing that they touched was these, the plants, uh, the, the bell peppers, uh, and well, all the peppers. We have jalapenos and, and everything else. I know they're not hornworms because our tomato plants are doing just fine. And I came out uh, several nights uh, with a black light and checked those. So uh, pretty sure some critter uh, got to it. But we're gonna get, get them because I have a roll of, what I say, it's chicken wire, right? But we're going to use this just like we use these for our tomato cages, right? But instead of using it to hold them, hold them up, which they will will do, what we're going to do is you're going to get a three foot section out of this. Get uh, your wire snips in here. Just cut straight across. What you're going to come out to is this right here. Now it may take two people because as it kind of curls back. But what I do is I kind of, I don't know if you can see this or not, but I just take this in here inside the loop and then I just kind of wrap these around uh, one another in here. And then it'll make a nice circle for you. So that actually is just like this. Now, this is not perfectly round. It really doesn't matter. All that we're trying to do is get protection around this. So if we just go ahead and put these right here and something comes up and hits it, that's going to blow over. So instead we've got these nice little, uh, I call them garden T-posts. So they're not the big, you don't need the big, heavy, sturdy T-posts. Uh, all you need is these little lightweight T-posts and just drive it right in. Now I've got a T-post driver. You can. You can do these with a hammer, really. And all you're gonna do is just drive it right down, just like this. And then get a couple of zip ties. And all it's gonna do is take two zip ties to hold this right here. Now, of course, one thing we have, uh, we have long zip ties. I suggest getting the shorter ones, but we're out of those right now. So just do one here at the top. And then do just one right here at the bottom. If you want a nice and clean look, then all you have to do is come and snip right in, right in there. Now these will have little edges where it's poking out from where, where you cut it. If you're worried about that, uh, then uh, instead of having these kind of twisted around, then you can just go ahead and zip tie the two uh, ends together right 
in here, but I don't, I don't see any reason why to kind of waste uh, zip ties. But that right there, that's not going anywhere. Nothing's going to be able to get in there. See if it pushes around, it's not going to get to where they can eat that out. So there you go. Now you have a critter proof way for your bell peppers or any, uh, any other kind of pepper plants that you may have. If you like this video, don't forget to share. Also like, subscribe, hit that bell so you get notified next time a video comes up.